G'day guys, welcome back to another episode. So today we're out here and we're gonna try and catch a mullet. So I just dropped past BCF on my way here and picked up a few things that we're gonna be using to catch a mullet today. Blackfish float, large blackfish float, float stopper, size four hooks, small swivels. Right here I have a dire rule with 12 pound mono on it and I'm gonna be fishing with quite a long rod here so I can get over the top of the fish, over the top of the float when I'm fishing. So this is the first time I've had a go at trying to fish for mullet, so hopefully the setup I'm using here works a treat. It is an absolute stinker out here today. I am dead set sweating my dog off. It's over 40 degrees. Oh my God, feet are burning. All right guys, first thing you wanna be doing is putting a couple of float stoppers on here. So you just buy them from your local tackle shop put them on the line. Second thing we're gonna to wanna to be doing is weigh your float. Well, how I do this is put a couple of sinkers on the end, roughly guesstimate the weight that you reckon your float's gonna be bobbing at. So you, you want your float to be bobbing in the water around the vicinity of this white area. A little bit more probably won't matter. So for a float like this, we're running those two sinkers. Next thing you wanna be doing just put a little bead there. So when it comes down down to your swivel, it stops abrasion. Next thing you're gonna to wanna to be doing is a swivel. Put your sinkers on next, and then a line about yay long, going on to a second swivel. And then we've put six pound leader on the end. So if you do get a bust up, hopefully you just lose that bit, and you don't lose a lot. Okay, right now we're ready to bait her up with a bit of bread. Cast it out, we'll see how we go. All right, take the crust off the bread. Rip off probably a piece about yay big. We wrap it around and around like that. So it's nice and firm. The fish can't see the hook. All right, time to catch a mullet. The reason I'm fishing with such a long rod is to sort of get a bit further over the top of the float so your hookup rate is a better chance of getting a fish. Onto a good fish there. A mullet. Look at that, beautiful mullet. He's a cracking fish. There you go, first mullet for the day. Haven't been here too long. Cracker. All right, so we got one nice mullet today. That's what we set out to do. It's absolutely stinking hot up here, so haven't been down here long. We're gonna head home and too hot going to sit in the air con, so we'll cook it up tomorrow. Next time I come down, try and get a few more. But too hot today. See you soon. Right, hey guys, here we are at another beautiful spot to cook up this afternoon. Down here with Clara. She's keen as to taste this mullet. Just go chill out down here for the Arvo, watch the sun go down, cook up this mullet and see how it all goes. Pretty keen to try him. I did catch this mullet in the river yesterday, so a lot of people out there will probably think it's gonna be a muddy taste. But my mates actually tried them out of there and he reckons they're actually beautiful, just like a sea mullet. There's a lot of salt in our river systems at the moment, so I'm pretty keen to try them and see for myself. And you guys will soon see as well. <laughs> she shall see, shall by the sea. You guys will see soon as well. So I'm thinking the best way to eat this mullet is to fill it him up. So I'm gonna go down here by the water, knock two fillets off either side. I am gonna leave the skin on. I've already scaled him last night and gutted him. So we'll head down by the water, cut a couple of fillets off and I'll throw them on the pan, just all natural, a tiny bit of lemon, 
and that'll do us just so we can get a good flavor of this thing. All right, guys, so I'm gonna fill it this bad boy up. Real good looking fish, aren't they, the mullet? Nice and silver. There's your fillet. Feed the rest of the fishies. Time to chop the lemon. So there's a pretty strong nor'easter blowing here at the moment, so I'm going to try and find a protected area to cook. I'm thinking just down here. I might actually dig the sand out a little bit so it goes down so the flame doesn't get blown out from the wind. Because every now and then you get a real strong gust of that nor'east wind come through and it's probably too much to cook with. Okay, so this hole here is going to work as a windbreak, just a nice square hole in the sand. Dug it down probably four to six inches deep. I'll throw the burner in there, get the flame going, start to cook. Alright, put the cooker down. Inside my hole. So, beautiful little wind break there, little wind barrier. The wind should just scoot over the top and hopefully not blow my flame out. Light him up. Put the pan on. Just gonna let that heat up for a little while, get the pan nice and warm before I start cooking the fish. This little windbreak I've made up here is working an absolute treat. The flame isn't like blowing out whatsoever. Right, I add the oil. Might try and square that up a little bit. This is the beauty of sand. If your pan isn't square, you can square it up. Hopefully without burning yourself. Okay, time to put the mullet on. Have a look at that. Beautiful and white. That looks awesome. It's pretty well cooked already. Fish like this only takes probably a minute, so it's pretty well done. That looks absolutely gorgeous. This is so keen to try this mullet. Alright, uh, that's done. Have a look at that. There's a, how good does that look? Fish, lemon, probably a little bit of sand. <laughs> I'm gonna add a bit of pepper now, squeeze some lemon on, then we're gonna see how she tastes. Plenty of salt and pepper there. I'm gonna squeeze. A little bit of lemon on. Go away, fly. Have a look at the flesh. You would not think that's a fish out of the river. Oh, that's actually really good. Taste some beautiful and moist, just cooked right, not overcooked, just perfect. Claire's a little bit nervous here. It's actually really good. It might have been swimming around in Did mud. It take some money? No, not at all. Beautiful. That actually doesn't. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Well, when not I too bad. When I like, flathead is still my favorite, but it's not too bad. Mm. We have a winner here. When I cut this fish open, there was a tiny little bit of mud in his guts. 
but that was it. He actually was pretty clean. He looked very similar to a sea mullet. Beautiful with the skin too. The skin's not muddy at all. Mm, nice. No mullet left there guys, that was absolutely delicious. See you guys on the next episode, peace out. So I'm going to be doing more how-to videos over the next couple of months. Comment below and let me know if there's anything you guys want to see in particular and I'll try and get it done. If those fish swim in our waters, I'll try and catch it and cook it up, see how she tastes. Phew.